Hello, welcome to another edition of the Mr. Lewis Mini Lecture. I am Chad Lewis, pastor, teacher, and author. I'm coming to you from Mott High School in Waterford. And today the topic is the role of the Bible. The role that the Bible plays in religious life is particularly important for Protestants because the whole Protestant Reformation involves a break from the Roman Catholic Church as the authority to the Bible as the authority. And this can create a lot of confusion. Protestants often forget that in ancient Israel, for example, most people were illiterate. Ancient Israelite religion is not a religion of the book. It's not a religion of the literate. And that's true even of the early church. Most of the early Christians were not literate and did not read their Bibles. The New Testament hadn't entirely been written, and even if they heard their Bibles, it would be audibly in the church services. So we have to get this idea out of our head that the Jewish and Christian religion is fundamentally a religion of the book. One of the dangers of regarding Judaism and Christianity as a religion of the book is that it creates the impression that people would not know what to believe and they would not know what was right or wrong if the Bible hadn't told them so. But this idea is very, very foreign even to the Bible itself. People have intellectual resources with which to know the difference between truth and falsity and they have a moral conscience with which to know the difference between the good and the evil. Or in the language of a lot of theologians, we have access to general revelation. God reveals himself through creation. God reveals himself through our conscience. God reveals himself through the longings of the human heart. We don't really need a Bible verse to tell us everything that we need to believe and to tell us everything that we need to do, that is to use the Bible as an epistemological and moral crutch. Now you might say, well, if I don't use the Bible that way, what way am I supposed to use it? That, in fact, is the way most people I know actually use the Bible. Well, there's two that I'll mention. One, uh, we are no man is an island. We are not worlds unto ourselves. Sometimes our intellectual judgments err. Sometimes our moral judgments err. And the Bible can provide us with a Jewish and Christian tradition, uh, a kind of benchmark against which to measure our own judgments or the judgments of our local community to find out whether uh, we are thinking and feeling and responding in the ways that Jews and Christians traditionally have. So it provides a kind of map of how people who have been down the journey that we are currently going have already gone. Uh, another thing, perhaps more importantly, Judaism and Christianity are historical religions. That is to say, they believe God not only reveals himself in creation, but he reveals himself in the events of human beings. And historical events, say the exodus from Egypt or the death and resurrection of Jesus, are not events that we could know about through just using our reason or our conscience. We would either have to be there or we would have to hear an account of them from somebody who was. So, between the Old and the New Testament, the two most important events, the pivotal historical events, are the exodus from Egypt for the Jewish people, contained in Exodus, Leviticus, and Numbers, and then, of course, in the Gospels, the account of the life, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ. These are not events that we could know about through the exercise of our reason or through the use of our conscience. They are, in a sense, God's response to the universal human prayer for grace, for mercy, for God's intervention in the suffering and difficulty of human affairs. We could not know about these things apart from the Bible, and to that extent, the Bible is essential to the Jewish and Christian faith. Beyond these kinds of issues, however, when it comes to the hot button issues of our own society, issues that have to do with life, issues that have to do with sexuality and family, issues that have to do with property, uh, these are issues that we can draw upon not only with reference to the Bible, but using our own reason, using our own conscience. And especially in a secular democratic republic, it will be important for us to be able to give other people reasons for why we think that certain things are right or wrong, true or false, other than just the sort of tribalistic assertion, the Bible told me so. There can be no doubt that the Bible is the greatest book ever written and handed down. However, beware of the dangers of the use and misuse of the Bible. In addition to reading the Bible and understanding what it offers that is essential to Judaism and Christianity, cultivate your reason, cultivate your conscience. Thank you. Remember, you can listen to my sermons for free online at newtempleec.com. For all you readers out there, buy my book, Norman's Descent, on Amazon or Barnes & Noble. 
Till then, my fellow travelers, Hex, Tibby, and God bless.